A well-crafted axonometric image can take a great set of presentation drawings to the next level. Today, I wanna to show you how to use Rayon to perfect your very own. What's going on team? My name is David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And as I mentioned, we're using Rayon design paired with a little bit of SketchUp to create the perfect axo. Are you ready? Let's go. So to get started, obviously we need our axonometric image. And I've gone ahead and downloaded this particular one. So I'll link it down below so you can follow along. Once you've imported it into SketchUp, all we need to do is delete some of the extra lines. Then we have a clean model, which we can go straight to file, export as 2D graphic. We wanna export it as a DWG, which will allow us to import it in to Rayon super easy. Alternatively, you can export it as a PDF or a PNG, anything you like. I just find data work really well for my workflow. After that, we want to move into Rayon Design. If you've never used Rayon Design, there's a bunch of tutorials on my channel. So go ahead, check them out, learn Rayon in less than 15 minutes, to be honest. And then this will all just make logical sense. The first thing you want to do is come up to the three dots, import and hit DWG. Follow the prompts and your axonometric will import. What I've gone ahead and done is grouped each individual floor so that it's a lot easier to move them, adjust them to align to get our perfect grid lines. After you set up the axonometrics, then we start with our grid lines. So down the bottom, we hit the little up arrow and go to grid lines. Alternatively, we can just press the G button. For me personally, I only need two grid lines. I use them on the exterior walls for an axo. You can run them in the middle, but because I didn't create this axo, all of the central walls don't exactly align in the corners, so I'm leaving it off. For the purposes of this tutorial, let's focus in on just one of these floors. So I'm assuming this is the ground floor. At least I'm going to make it the ground floor. So for me, visualizing this space, I'd see this main area on the left as the garage. Then you'd walk into the kitchen, living and dining, of course. This spiral section here would be our beautiful spiral staircase. Potentially a small guest bedroom, a gym, anything in between. And then of course, a little bathroom in the back as well. Hallways, cupboards, etc. what we want our walls to be. But at the moment, it's just blank spaces and white lines. We're using our imagination to create the beautiful, perfect axo. So what do we do first? For me personally, I go ahead and add as many zones as I can. So I'll start by defining each individual space and giving them a texture. What that looks like if I turn on my fills is an interior design concept. So of course, on the left-hand side here, we have our texture, white concrete scaled down to 45% opacity for our garage. We have our chevron floorboards in the main space underneath the staircase and in the gym. Then we have our hexagon tiles in the bathroom. And to top it all off, I've added a beautiful stone feature wall in the background. Stone, timber, brick, whatever you want. I've just used stone because it's a nice contrast to the rest of the presentation package at the moment. Each one of these is a zone, but I've turned off the zone labels because I wanna name them individually for this AXO. And we'll get to that at the very end, so stick around. To make sure each one of these floor plates looks the part of an axonometric, it's ideal that we black out the wall cuts. So as you can see, when it imports, all the walls are white, whereas I've added a zone on top that highlights all of the wall tops and I've simply just changed it to a solid black fill. Once we've defined our spaces, we can import all of our blocks. Now, every single one of these blocks that you see in front of you right now comes direct from Rayon. I didn't have to go and find any characters. I didn't have to go find plants and cars. You simply go to the block library and search for what you need. You can go through a million and one different categories, or you can simply just type in car and it will give you a series of cars to choose from. And that's exactly what I've done. I've typed in car, kitchen, table, person, rug, plant, staircase, and gym equipment. I've added all of it in one by one, scaled it, rotated, it, placed it perfectly. So when we zoom out, we get a bit of an atmospheric impression of what this axonometric should be. Comparing it to what it was, it's blank white lines out of SketchUp that's, you know, sells the story of the space, but now we start to sell the story of emotion. Obviously, Rayon is a 2D software, so we don't have axonometric or even isometric presentations and examples of all of these objects. So to make it work, we're using either top-down or elevation view of individual objects. Then we're scaling, we're squeezing, we're rotating to make it appear as though it is part of an axonometric. If we wanted to take it further, we could add shadows to each one of these elements to really bring that texture and depth through. But for the purpose of this, it's probably more than enough. 
I'll jump in the middle here team to let you know that this video is obviously sponsored by Rayon. However, more importantly, down in the description below, you can try out Rayon completely free. So what are you waiting for? Jump down there, hit the link and start using Rayon today. At the current time, we've got our AXO. We know what our spaces are, but anybody looking at the space would really have to think about them. They'd have to zoom in and go, ah, okay, that's my living room. That's my dining room, I understand. So to make people's lives a hell of a lot easier, we wanna add some room names. So I've got a separate layer for room names, which uses our leader tool down the bottom. You'll see DR, you can create your own leaders and I've just labeled everything. So it's extremely clear for anybody looking at this. Once you've completed that floor plan, you'd repeat the same concept and the same premise for each of the other three floors. Again, there's no need to dive into that for this tutorial because you're gonna go ahead and do this yourself. Once you've done everything on that floor plate, you would repeat the same premise for the floor below and the two above. And as nice as that would look, completed, colored, annotated, and brought to life, it still isn't enough to really finish off that axonometric. So for me, what I like to do is bring a 2D space into the 3D world. And to do that, we have to bring items outside of our grid lines, outside of our defined spaces. We're using the negative space to create additional space. So if I turn on my hatching, you'll see this axonometric is immediately brought further to life. I'll turn off the hatching and turn it on rapidly so you can see the difference. Zooming in down the bottom, we have our earth fill. Now that can be black, brown, blue, whatever you want, doesn't matter, defining it as below ground. Above ground, we have our footpath, which I've defined as bricks and our grass around. Two trees extending outside of our grid lines. That's what helps sell this as a 3D axonometric story rather than a blank canvas. It also helps articulate levels, knowing that this is the ground and a person's walking out with their dog and there's grass around it. We know this floor is defined as ground. It doesn't need its own annotation. Our brain immediately can comprehend and understand this is ground, which only works when you annotate and document properly. Similarly, you can understand that this section is below ground. If you wanted to take it a step further, you would actually push the ground over the basement walls so that you could still see the basement walls outlined, but it's immediately telling you, oh, this is below ground. I understand this concept. The grass is above, the ground is below, it is buried. So a viewer understands the premise without additional annotation cluttering the space. Finally, the floors above are above our ground, so they're in the sky. A simple blue fill will provide enough of a visual annotation to understand these floors are above our ground floor and that they stack on top. So from a street presence, this is a three-story home and one below, overall making it four-story development. To tie everything off, I've added two little clouds, which are PNG imports direct from Google. If you wanted to use realistic PNG trees as well, you could just help elevate that story and blend those styles together. Once you're completed with your axonometric and you've gone through annotated, labeled, imported presentation items into your basement first and second floor, then like any other software, you can utilize this however you wish. It would most likely be going into a presentation set, which means we'd be exporting it either as an image or a PDF. And in Rayon, simple, file, export, PDF, export screen. Anyway, that is all for me team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and like always, I'll see you next week.